Hey guys, it's Chris Chu from ChrisChu.com here and this evening I am at the Museum of Ice Cream. The Museum of Ice Cream is located at 100 Lowen Road in Dempsey in Singapore. The nearest MRT station is Napier on the Thompson East Coast Line. If you are driving down, there is a small parking lot as well as a cafe for you to refuel and recharge either before or after your ice cream visit. They sell savoury things also such as pizzas. So if you need something savoury, then it is at the cafe that you can find it. of ice cream started in Singapore in 2021 and from February 14 to February 18 they are doing this special Valentine's Day bundle so I had a sneak preview of the Museum of Ice Cream and what the Valentine's Day bundle is about so for the Valentine's Day bundle you get this very beautiful little bag which comprises of items such as a beautiful little Sunday cup where you can actually request for them to fill up with an ice cream sundae now the sundae looks very beautiful because it is adorned with cream and lovely little hearts so you can really surprise your special someone there is also a heart shaped lock as well as two cards where you can write your special Valentine's Day wishes to your special somebody and hang it up on their wall. Check out the Valentine's Day bundle and the gifts that you will get as part of this package. The stuff is awesome. After that, let's adjourn into the Museum of Ice Cream where it is ice cream and pink galore. If pink is your favourite colour like it is mine, this is your place. So besides the Valentine's Day bundle, we had a look inside the Museum of Ice Cream and oh my god, there is so much ice cream to eat. The type of ice cream ranges from local wafers to potong to Ben and & Jerry's and much more. When you go in, you should go in on an empty stomach because when you get out, you will be so full of ice cream. This room felt just like a California beach to me which was beautiful and dreamy, somewhat like being in Barbie land. Yeah guys, before we move on, Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Pristu.com, yeah? 
Now let's continue the Museum of Ice Cream tour and head towards the Screams Diner. It is at the Screams Diner whereby you can redeem your ice cream sundae if you purchase the Valentine's Day bundle. I think that the sundae looks awesome. There is a lovely tunnel that you can walk into and then after you come out of the tunnel, you will find yourself in popsicle land whereby there are so many popsicles, it will blow your eyes open. It is also here that you can redeem a potong local style ice cream. Right now, I look like I'm in popsicle heaven and I'm surrounded by giant popsicles everywhere. This room is based on the old school Singapore style playgrounds but it matches with the ice cream museum's rainbow and whimsical themes with an apple and a banana for a swing and a unicorn playground to mimic the Topayo dragon playground which is pretty famous here. Let me relive my old school childhood days and check out the banana swing and the apple swing. As you can see, this is the Museum of Ice Cream's unicorn playground with a big unicorn standee at the front and centre of the playground. It is a good representation of old school Singaporean style playgrounds which is a dying breed even though it may not be as famous as the Topayo Dragon playground we all know and love. I always feel very nostalgic about these old school ice cream wafers so I was delighted to have these at the Museum of Ice Cream. And you can see this is the unicorn playground. It is a nice touch of the dragon playground. This segment of the Museum of Ice Cream reminds me of an infinity mirror maze whereby you walk through mirrors and more mirrors and there does not seem to be an exit anywhere. Fortunately, this mirror maze was pretty easy to navigate and I didn't really get lost. When you exit the mirror maze, you will find yourself in another room. Let's check it out. Ah yes, the mirror maze leads through a banana room and when you exit the banana tunnel, you will find yourself in a little cafe serving Ben and Jerry's. The Ben and Jerry's ice cream was definitely the best out of the lot if you ask me. I selected the mint chocolate flavour. Shall we tuck in? The last stop of the Museum of Ice Cream before you exit is the swimming pool. But in this swimming pool, you will not get wet because it is full of foam. Basically, it is a dry form of foam that is pretty fun to go inside. When you exit the foam pool, you find yourself in the gift shop. Let's see what is available to buy in the gift shop. So I had a 
really great time at the media preview of the Museum of Ice Cream. And if you are interested to experience their Valentine's Day bundle and take a look at what ice cream you can eat, you feel free to go inside and have a look. The ticket prices are as follows. Thank you so much for watching. This is Chris Chu from ChrisChu.com. If you enjoyed what you saw, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel at ChrisChu.com. Until then, I will catch up with you in my next video. See you and bye-bye.